Hi everyone, Ray from Pro String with another racket restringing tutorial. As you've already probably noticed, today is going to be a tennis racket. Uh, today will be a Wilson Ultra V4 100 uh, 16 by 19 300 grams. So that's a Wilson Ultra 100 weighing in at 16 uh, sorry 300 grams and 16 19 stringing pattern as you can see I've already uh, Put the racket on the machine find your middle just make it simple find your middle You have six holes down here three loops obviously the middle being here and at the top There may a lot of Wilson rackets have a little tiny circle and this one's got a small white small circle uh, indicating uh, the middle point very important to find the middle uh, as you can see I have not applied much pressure at all uh, there should be a little bit of give in the racket um, but obviously don't tighten too much and don't leave it too loose either you may encounter uh, some problems uh, with, um, with the frame in itself so be careful with that um, so six holes as I mentioned uh, a second ago uh, three loops, six holes at the bottom, therefore we have to start from the top. In all rackets that have the same kind of uh, start, six holes at the bottom, always start from the top. So you can loop, as you can see, loop down and around that first part of the, the grommet down here. So, uh, as I mentioned, 16, 19, therefore we've got our first two mains, one to each side, as you can see, one to each side. That means we have eight to each side, eight minus one, seven. So I've got to count on the frame, my preferred way to count the strings. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Currently going to use, uh, go, about to uh, use, or am using, <laughs> Luxilon Alu Power, um, Luxilon Alu Power in one, two, five gauge, 17 um, gauge as well known as 17. <clears throat> Don't know if you spotted that, but I ran my finger, so I, I, I measured my short side, which of course, I'll be doing a four knot, two piece, it's gonna be a hybrid uh, with multi-filament on the crosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leave yourself a little bit extra to reach the tension head with no issues. And then, as you may have noticed a second ago, I just ran my fingers through the string as so. I've got one side measured to my liking, and now I cut my string that I've measured against the, the reel, let's say. So, we're going to clamp down here, don't clamp at the top. <clears throat> and now we'll start our mains, and the tension requested is 50, 54 pounds. 54 pounds of tension. And there you have it. We're going to, as always, string three strings to each side. Compensating the tension of the strings throughout the racket. And what you want to avoid doing at all costs, especially if you stumble across this video, is three strings to each side. So we do three, 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 three and then two and two. As it's a 16, 19, we do three plus three is six, and then plus two is eight. But respectively, of course, three to each side. And there you have it, my first three mains. Luxilor Alu Power, polyester string, co-polyester string. It's a beautiful string to play with. Uh, but at this point, if you're already using Luxor Alu Power, it's probably because you break strings significantly quick. Um, and if you're, if you're someone who's breaking strings chronically, uh, Alu Power is probably not your best option as for a polyester string. It breaks quite quickly, quicker than other brands, surely because it's slightly softer. <clears throat> Uh, therefore breaks quicker. It is a great feeling though to play with uh, Alu Power, I'm not gonna lie, despite having my uh, own string line. However, I have to be honest and say it is a great string. It comes at a very high price these days. 
you know, if you're looking just to buy one set and if you then have to pay for shipping, you're looking at about 18 pounds for the string, give or take. Plus your three pound shipping in the UK if you're just uh, buying one set of strings. So you're looking at 21 pounds. We sell it for 18, um, or 18 just for the string, and then we charge 20 pounds for the labor. This is the, the latest Wilson Ultra. There isn't, um, there is three previous as, a, as V4, version four, I would suggest this is the latest. Um, the, the recent ones were black and blue or gray and blue, I think the V1s. Um, I have to say this paint job, I think I prefer this paint job over the other three that they launched under this uh, model. Anyway. Uh, last main string up your tension 15 to 20 percent which is the recommended uh, the recommended tension for before you finish uh, before you do your final well, not final but finishing knot should I say so as you can see I've gone down around and back up I'm gonna do exactly the same but this time coming through the first knot I did And my seventh main to my, the other side that we're about to finish as well. <clears throat> and I up my tension on my last and final mains. Somebody is calling me. Apologies, I am working as normal, let's say. However, if it's not important, uh, I won't take it. I have to ignore this for now. Not business related so I'll only take calls if I'm doing videos if they are streaming related um, very important for us to take the calls on the first go on the first call if not a lot of times they found your number on Google and they may just scroll down to the next guy next company and that's a lost client and I've done it before by experience from even even sometimes when you're on uh, another call they uh, straight away goes to the next person on Google, and if they answer, they may uh, to they may agree to drop off with them. Right, so that's your mains. Now for our crosses, sixteen nineteen. All I need is seven and a half full lengths of the racket, full lengths, not just the head. There's sometimes people oh just the head, no, full size of the racket, twenty seven inches, seven and a half times three, four. Five, six, seven and a half. There you go. Easy enough, but <laughs> I say easy enough, but uh, you can't imagine how many times I've uh, I have taught people and they're on their way to to learning uh, and already doing a half decent stringing job, but they can't count to seven and a half. I don't understand it, but it does uh, seems to be a very frequent thing. For some reason, I don't know why. Very strange. Anyway, we start our crosses. I've tied my uh, starting knot, which is a parnell knot. I always use a parnell knot uh, on my uh, seventh main string. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tie my knot, and then for use for for those who uh, may be just starting out. This stringing pattern goes as such. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip one, eight. When I say skip one, that's your cross string. The bottom is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip one, eight. Bottom and top are the same on this racket. That may not be the case with other rackets. So just keep an eye on that. Another busy day for us again here at Pro String, London.
I'm gonna check my camera angle, make sure everything's groovy here. Yeah, all good. As you just noticed, I've pushed my string up, get that out of the way, and then that way it makes life a little bit easier for firstly weaving and secondly holding your string in place and you'll see in a moment what I exactly mean. So holding my string in place is this. That's it. So give it some support so it doesn't come all the way down and then you have really wavy cross strings. Uh, when, once you've completed the racket and then you straighten everything up again, therefore you're gonna lose a little bit of tension or a lot of tension in fact. Can, uh, can vary depending how much you're having to move your strings around on completion. So I'd be very careful with that. As you see as well, using that right hand or left, depending which side you have the racket turned to, avoiding friction on strings as they can cut into each other. So it's effectively burning one another. So then you could leave marks on the rackets, damaged strings, uh, therefore, you know, creating an early, early breakage for your client, which is uh, you don't want. You don't want them to come back saying, "Why is this? Uh, why are there markings on the strings?" Or for any other reason that they can question. Again, there you go. Moving the hand, gonna get rid of my excess string on the knot. But as you can see, I cut it nice and short, not too short, but maybe shorter than many other stringers. Uh, looks good you don't want a long knot guys doesn't look good doesn't look good racket that I'm going to string on my tutorial on this one as well. Yeah, that is uh, an interesting racket. <laughs> the Focal V-Cell 1. I just had a little look. <laughs> Strung it before. It's uh, got to say it's an awful looking racket in my opinion. Awful. This client actually doesn't hit a bad ball but it seems that he's uh, got a tennis elbow at the moment. So, yeah. You guys can probably tell I'm always weaving two strings so I've got one weave and now I'll do my second that just makes your next weave so the one I'm doing now for example it just makes it easier there's less tension on that next string so if you're just doing one at a time it's always a bit more difficult to weave your one and only string so that's why we tend to uh, string one ahead uh, all the Grand Slam stringers do it even not Grand Slam, all the tour, should I say, all the professional tour stringers, WTA, ATP, uh, they all do it. Stringing from the age of 12 and a half, guys. When I was about 12 and a half years old. Uh, I strung my very first racket. Assisted uh, by my father and old tennis coach. Started stringing, uh, I was 12 and a half and I was living in Spain, Marbella at that point. Uh, so as soon as I could break Strings are weekly, give or take. I just bought a manual stringing machine, 
because we couldn't really afford to pay stringers. So we needed to learn. Uh, and shortly after me starting to break strings, then my brother started breaking strings at the age of, yeah, he was very young when he started, uh, when he was able to break strings. He was what, eight, nine, nine years old when he started breaking with some kind of frequency. He was a very good nine year old though, one of the best, uh, the best in Spain, under 10s, 12s, 18s as well, I think. 15s, if you want the national under 15s. <coughs> He's actually ranked uh, 300 and 318 in the world at the moment. Or just give or take three something. Early 300s, unfortunately, at the moment. Or fortunately, depending how you look at it. So it's very hard to survive uh, with that ranking. It was a uh, best ranking was 130, 31 or 32. Just before the lockdowns, unfortunately. So that didn't really help him. Uh, Covid lockdowns is what I mean. So yeah, he's trying to find his way back a little bit. Uh, I'm just stringing at my normal speed, guys. I'm not. I'm not trying to slow down too much or speed up. I'm just doing my thing. So I have lots of rackets waiting, uh, and these videos. Do of course take up more time, but of course my choice to do them. I'm very happy to do so. So just a reminder, your the string that you're always weaving next, uh, as you may already know if you've looked at a tennis racket before, and if you haven't and very unfamiliar, every weave needs to be different to the top one. So always the opposite. If the string is going under, it needs to go over on the next weave, and so on and so on. But we're on our last cross, guys. That was, uh, I think that was relatively quick, probably. I pressed my not button to go up 15%, which I have this Wilson Bayardo original program there. And now we're gonna tie our knot, find our next, our nearest, should I say, anchor string, which is down here, nice and easy. Bring the string up. We're gonna go down and through this original first loop. Don't tighten it. Again, this is called the Parnell knot. Back down and through my first knot. Tends to be the string that's closest to you, the one you're gonna pull, um, just the way it lies. Uh, you're going to pull it, don't pull too hard, unnecessary, and then pull up again. There you have it. Get rid of my knot, excess string. And there you have it, guys. So, very important as well, your racket should just pop off your machine as so. There should be no real tension to uh, take your racket off the machine. If you're finding, uh, finding it difficult to, get, difficult to get your racket off the machine, then you know that you've just put far too much pressure on the, on the mounting system or on your racket. There you have it, guys. The Wilson V4 Ultra. 100 Okay, I hope there was some valuable stuff in there for you guys um, And uh, until the next racket happy stringing guys take care. Bye. -bye.